Buckle up, you bastards. You're about to listen to another episode of Fairy Late with Black Brains and Sad Godzuki. Get ready for uninformed opinions about video games, hood politics, and rambling tangents. Yes, 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 yes. Fucking back, Young Zuccavelli. How you doing, homie? I'm doing good, bro. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I've been busy. I've been making content. We we in the we in the trenches. We in the motherfucking cut, making this shit happen. I'm about to be the black <laughs> Mr. Beast, man. <laughs> Wakanda, bro. <laughs> We, we got upwards of 1.4k subs. We making money. <laughs> <laughs> MMG man, I'm thinking about the pieces I'm gonna get when I hit 2K subs, dog. We we got reach, we got reach, sir. Hell yeah. <laughs> How you doing, homie? I'm thinking about the farmland we're gonna buy like Rick Ross when we get 5K subs. I'm raising emus. <laughs> we're going to old chickens. <laughs> Yo, man, like. Like genuinely thinking about the change you're gonna cop when you got like two K subs and go like, man, man, I want the I want the fucking bezel on that shit, the the glisten. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the Daytona on my wrist when I hit three K. <laughs> yo, uh, these, yo, these super chats coming in crazy, dog. <laughs> I'm making upwards of uh, twenty bucks. I'm got, about to get me the shakaroni pizza today. Oh Christ! <laughs> Big money. Nah. But yeah, we have we have a very special guest. Uh, very excited to have him on. Both Zuki and I are big fans of uh, of this individual, as we're both very into cartoons. Uh, we have yep. D'Angelo from Hats Off Media. D'Angelo, how you doing, man? Yo, what up? What's how, up, me? What are you saying? What's good? What's good? <laughs> What have you been up to, I'm man? I'm here. You are here. You are here. Working. Shocking. I've been working. <laughs> You've been working. So yeah, you got a you got like an indie animation in the the pipeline there. Can you tell us a bit about screen time and what's gone into it? Sure. Why not? Let me see. Screen time. That's my show. I should know about it. Yeah, All probably. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You want All me right. to tell them? You want me to tell them? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the reins from right. here. Appreciate it, homie. <laughs> yeah, screen time. That's uh, it's my show. It's uh, it's like a MTV like, like early two thousands like adult like uh, cartoon style thing. I'm trying to make. Yeah. It's about uh, it's about three different artists. One's a, a illustrator. One's a art. One's um, a musician, and one's a a game coder. Mm-hmm. And it's about them trying to like balance their like passions and hobbies with like their actual like day to day lives. You know, like 
actual like nine to fives and like friendships and all that the relationships and all that like what with like getting big on like the internet so like it's about trying to find that balance between like you know building your brand but also you know keeping your people close you know yeah yeah honestly that's yeah it's, that's just so hard man like as someone who is kind of in that exact dilemma i really resonated mm-hmm. with what you were doing because like it is a struggle, you it know, is. to retain your personal relationships and to have that real life side of things and then to focus on like whatever your creative pursuit is as well, especially when you start making traction, right? Like mm-hmm. that that <laughs> seemed like what you were going for is trying to show like the sort of the split between that. Yeah, it's hard to get subscribers and also touch grass. It's it's, it's yeah. a balancing act. <laughs> Factually. I got like I'm I'm quite small and I still got my friends like reaching out to me asking if everything's okay. So it's like, where are you at? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like no. I was I haven't editing. heard from you in two years. <laughs> I was editing. <laughs> I was in the trinkets. Yeah, because I saw that concept. I was like, man, this is what I needed. I'm like, and as the homies making it too, I'm like, this is gonna be cool because it was giving me like the uh uh that you remember that show Undergrads from uh MTV way back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. I was like, man, I miss the mess when I miss when MTV used to take risks instead of showing like <laughs> maybe Mama Drama twenty four seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. It's a shame. It used, to be, it used to be a really cool channel. Yeah, honestly, like I think you know, is it fair to say that like your biggest influence on that's probably downtown, right? Like it reminded yeah, yeah. me a lot downtown. of downtown. Yeah, yeah. downtown too. Yeah, it's like downtown and Mission Hill are like the the main influences. Oh man. Yeah. I just I just rewatched I Mission Hill. Too. What a fucking good show. You know, you know what <laughs> not to not to sound like, you know, I'm I'm setting you up for these questions, but your video on WB mm-hmm. animation got me to rewatch Mission Hill. I hadn't watched oh, it nice. in years. <laughs> yeah. So I watched your video. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, okay, man, I forgot how how nice the show is. I watched it's all such of a it. Good show. It's one of my favorites now. Like genuinely. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like I appreciate you for putting people onto animation. Like, what what kind of pushed you to want to talk about animation and like really kind of shine a spotlight on like certain aspects of animation? Huh. I mean, like, I used to watch. Like, I mean, I still do. Like, I I used to watch a lot of people, like that do the same thing I do, right? Like, yeah, I grew up like watching like you know, well, grew up you know, I was like in high school. <laughs> <laughs> but like uh you know i would watch people like you know pan pan pizza like i would watch uh like nostalgia critic and stuff like that you know i was like oh cool they're talking about like stuff that i they grew up with and stuff that i grew up with but like it was all really cool like i don't know i, I was like i could probably do that i tried a few times like before i like settled down with like hats off media like yeah i've had like other channels you'll never find them <laughs> but uh <laughs> that's, that's cryptic that's cryptic <laughs> they're out there if you can find them all <laughs> but, like oh, i used to when i when i first thought i was going to start doing youtube so i was like i was focused on video games right mm. like because like my favorite person to watch was like abgn right Even video game nerd like yeah I want to do video game reviews and like let's plays and stuff. So I was just like, I would I would do that with like, a couple of friends and like didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> Except for when like it, it did, and I was like, who's watching this? It's just like, why is why is this one getting views? I don't understand. Like, <laughs> but one, uh, guy, one guy f fiving over and over. Again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Probably, <laughs> probably me. <laughs> But like you know, life would get busy, like school, a lot of school stuff, people stuff. Like I was like, ah, maybe I'll just take a break. And then like I went to school for like animation, so I was like, I don't really have time to be doing YouTube, yeah. and also pulling on ideas for all these projects I gotta do. So you know, it kind of fell by the wayside for a while. Yeah. But then eventually, I was I uh I decided to get back into the game, and I uh I had started a video. This one never got made, but it probably will get made at some point. I'd start working on a video 
talking about like Ninja Turtle ripoffs, like oh, okay. like Street Sharks and all that stuff. You know, like all this. Man, oh fuck, <laughs> Johnson, Johnson, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, like, like, did you cover like uh, Biker Mice from Mars and that? And, yeah, that was that was okay. in the list. What was on the? Uh, I'll save it in case, in case I miss it. But like, there was definitely Street Sharks. It was like some weird ones on there too. It was gonna get silly. But then, you know, I got busy and I never finished that one. My first video for the channel ended up being Rise of the TMNT when that came out. Right. Uh, Mo- mostly because I was just like, oh, this is actually good. I didn't expect it to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I didn't either. I was looking at this. Like, my homie got me on it because I'm like, I'm not. I'm like, I saw the, I was, I'm like, man, ain't nothing going to be better than the 2000s Ninja Turtles. Then I seen yeah. it. I'm like, I was like, oh, since, when is, since when is Raph the leader? How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mistake in the lyrics of the song. Yeah. You know that you ever seen the original Ninja Turtles movie, like the one from the eighties? So oh yeah, oh yeah. Eighties, yeah. like, like, like yeah. there's a song at the end where it's just, you know T U R T L E power. Yeah, yeah. But there's like a mistake in the lyrics where it's just like Raphael, he's the leader of the group. Man. He's just like, no, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. No, <laughs> he's not. Imagine he's how not. fucked up, how fucked up the turtles would be if Raph ran everything, and he'd just be yeah, like, oh, like, nah, we ain't Let's planning shit. Let's go in. Let's go in. <laughs> like, if if right. any other Raphael but Rise was leading the team, they would have not survive. Like no. that wouldn't. <laughs> Just they they go into the foot compound immediately get stabbed <laughs> yeah, like no plans. <laughs> shut up, shut up, Donnie. I'm planning this shut out. Up, Donnie, I'm planning this shit. We running. We running. We running. Yeah, we're raiding this place on vibes alone. Let's go. Just all of his plans are just headlong. Just charging. yelling. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. What do you think of the? Uh, what do you think of Mutant Mayhem? Uh, the movie, the new one. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. great. I love that movie. I uh, I saw it with uh, I saw it with uh, Tariq and Man. Oh hell yeah! Oh, hell God damn, yeah. the entire damn. black cartoon community <laughs> went to go see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, it was great. I I really do like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I enjoyed it too. I didn't get to see it in theaters, but I saw it after mm-hmm. the fact, and uh, yeah, yeah, I really liked it. It's not like my favorite group of turtles, but I did. But it was great. Yeah, they grew on me because at first I was like, then I watched it. The funniest part is like he, when uh Doctor Bax is like, I'm about to molly whop you. Then he, he just <laughs> over, I'm getting molly whop. Oh, <laughs> uh, super fly. He was great. Yeah. <laughs> he was a good villain. <laughs> Ice Cube was killing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> how do you how do you feel about that style of animation, like the post Spider Verse, like? slower mm-hmm. frame rate kind of animation that's been popularized. Oh yeah, it's great. I'm, yeah. I'm glad that movies are starting to look different, finally. Yeah. I the part, a little sick of it. Yeah, the part I hope is like, people know why they did it because it makes the action scenes look better not to go, Spider-Verse did it and that made millions of dollars. They yeah. did the same thing without knowing the reason why they did it. That's yeah, and that, when, you, yeah. when, you, when, you can, when you can control like the frame rate, it makes like impacts better and like, you know, it's cool. I, I agree with you, Zuki, that, like, I don't want the the executive mindset of going, we have to make every movie look like this because uh, Spider-Verse made money. It shouldn't be the reason why people do it, yeah. Yeah, just do it because it looks rad. Yeah, because yeah, that Absolutely. last Puss in Boots movie, doing that same technique, those fight scenes were really impactful, especially when he was fighting the giant at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I did like that. I like that movie a lot too. I I, I do kind of wish that like the, like the non action scenes had like a little bit of that too. It was a little inconsistent for me. Like I thought because like the regular like talking scenes were like smoothly animated. I I wish they had like played with that a bit more too during like just like the dialogue scenes. Right. Yeah, that movie was cool too. Though DreamWorks has been pretty good lately. I mean, yeah, they have honestly. They're having <laughs> kind of like almost like a, a bit of a renaissance recently. Yeah. <laughs> they are. They've been pretty much on track since Captain Underpants. Yeah, I'm a th- I'm a throw shade, and you can you can correct me, you can check me on this, but like, yeah, let's see, they're they're kind of <laughs> doing the opposite of what Pixar is doing presently because I think Pixar is yeah. kind of being in a bad way. Is that fair to say? <laughs> I don't know, man. I haven't seen any in a while. Uh, okay, so don't crucify me. I didn't watch that movie about the uh, barber, but uh, about the black guy being uh, so I didn't watch oh, that. Oh, yeah. I see, oh I the see dude who looked like common? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I seen Soul. Soul's alright. Yeah. It was was <laughs> Elemental them? I saw Elemental. I really didn't enjoy that. And like I haven't seen Elemental. Turning red was like okay. 
But like, I thought Turning Red was pretty good. I yeah. like Turning Red. I thought Turning Red was cool. I wasn't like super blown away because I just I just really want like Disney and Pixar to like try and push a style. Like they almost did yeah. it with Turning Red, but like yeah. it was still like rendered the same way as like every ever Pixar movie. Like so like. And I'm just getting a little burnt out by their style because they used to, I don't know, they used to like, like a, like a Disney movie always looks like a Disney movie, but they used to like have their own style to it, you know, like, like Hercules would look different than Lion yeah. King, you know? Yeah. yeah. Or even, they both even look like Disney like, movies. Yeah. Even with Pixar, like you'd have a movie like Up would look slightly different than say Incredibles or Wall-E yeah. or like a you know, Toy life, Story, yeah. right? Like they yeah. all had kind of similar DNA, but they had enough different about them that you could kind yeah. of go, "Oh yeah, okay, I see where, I see where this deviates, right?" Yeah. yeah. But yeah, but like they're kind of homogenous they kind of now. together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like post Good Dinosaur, a lot of these movies kind of look <laughs> exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Not to not to invoke the the name of the Good Dinosaur, but you know, <laughs> I, just, I just thought about it. Has Disney ever made a good dinosaur movie? You mean just like a? I mean they just like they a made dinosaur a good dinosaur movie in general. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, well, there's, there's good dinosaur and there's dinosaur. Dinosaurs so. and both of those were kind of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah. they don't touch dinosaurs that often. Then maybe there's a reason. Yeah, yeah, they're they're fucking up prehistory, man. <laughs> Who owns the rights to uh, Jurassic Park now after the big mergers and everything? Who knows, dude? Uh, God, there are too many companies now. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's almost the opposite because, like, only like oh, two or three are buying they're up like all three of them. Zybot suits. <laughs> yeah. Like it's yeah, like it's fucking yeah. ticket, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zybot suits, pretty good. <laughs> Yo, fuck it. I'm sure Heihachi Mishima is saying like, "Yo, we gotta make a new Jurassic Park, but make it bigger, make it bigger and worse." Right. <laughs> That's just like oh, so... That's like Disney throwing Don Bluth off of a mountain. Yeah. Oh. Right <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are I... out, Don. Go to heaven. No. <laughs> oh man, I I desperately want to see. Well, <laughs> Disney throw a dog tooth into a mountain volcano. Yeah. Or a chasm. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, well, this will be Hachi. Bob <laughs> Iger will be late. <laughs> God damn, I'm weak. I'm weak. So let me, let me just ask you, like, because you mentioned Man, you mentioned Tariq. Uh, like, how did you get linked up with those guys and, like, how is how has it been working with like uh them respectfully or just you know being homies with them collaborating oh, yeah, those, the whole the those, whole guys are, those guys are cool those guys are like my bros for life now at this Hell point yeah. Hell yeah. But, uh, i had uh back when i first started uh i knew about man because he was part of like channel federator i was part of channel federator like for a while but that, that was back when i was doing just animations and okay. i was just animating on youtube uh and so i had linked up with channel federator Right. And uh, and man was part of it. So when I decided to start doing reviews, I reached out to man for like critique and like advice, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was how that started. But I was talking to man for like advice on stuff, right? And he, you know, he had, he had like watched some of my stuff. And he was like, "Oh, this is good. You can do this." Blah blah blah. And uh, that was basically what it was. And then like, well, I had stopped posting. I had stuff to do. Yeah. I made like two videos. I was like during the first era. Right. I made like the rise video. I had made uh. A video about like the Russian Wayne the Pooh. Mm. Uh, that one's big in Russia. I don't know how Russia found it, but it is. <laughs> they tracked it down. I don't know how they found that video, but I started getting a lot of Russian comments. I was like, oh. <laughs> uh. I checked back. I was like, it was like my channel had like 44 subscribers back then. Like, I checked back the video, it had like 10K. I was like, what? <laughs> like, oh, Russia. <laughs> But uh, eventually, I decided to come back, and I came back with an OKKO video, right. which I will probably redo at some point. That video is not good. Uh, <laughs> but uh, at that point, man, it like reached out again. He was just like, "Blah blah blah." I'm hanging out with a bunch of these other like black like content creators. You want to like join this Discord? And I was like, you know what? Sure, why not? And uh, that was where I met like basically everyone. It was just like like. Uh, 
Man was there, Tariq was there, uh, like Kevin, you know, um, All Shrug Box Roundtable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was yeah, there. Yeah. He's also a good friend. I mean, everyone in that server is a good friend. But, uh, like, they were there, Mr. Nostalgia. Like, that's where I met all those dudes. And uh, it was basically just, like, a place where we just, like, hung out, like, traded video ideas and stuff. But, like, mm-hmm. you know, we just, we, we we kept talking eventually, you know, we became really good friends. So, uh, you know, so we sometimes, was, we do a lot of work together. We do a lot of, we just hang out a lot. <laughs> like, yeah. Like we've been over each other's houses, like you know, it's just it's cool now. We're all just we're just homies now. That's dope shit, man. Like that's hard. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Talk, to, talk to shit. An excuse. Talk no. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got this man pressed on that. Yeah, and, and for the record, like for the record, there, uh, D'Angelo, like this this What's nigga, that? this nigga, my like one of my closest homies, like. We met online. It feels like I've known this nigga my entire life. Like I'm sure you and Tariq and Man are kind of similar to me yeah. and Zuki and yeah. some of our homies. It's like it's been like and, been like five years. Feels like twenty. Yeah, yeah. The the way that we met, I actually came to press brains about a stupid comment yeah. on an old video. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> yeah, this nigga's trolling me. <laughs> 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 this friendship started from confrontation absolutely it did absolutely it's like yo let me let me ask you something <laughs> like i remember that shit man that's pretty good <laughs> but nah him and i him and i've been homies for a minute so like i like i can relate to to what you're getting at is like yeah. it's it's good to be able to have those opportunities to connect with like like-minded people and to like really mm-hmm. forge those friendships because I know, like, a lot of online collaborations and friendships don't actually turn into, like, something real bigger, or, like a real yeah. friendship, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's dope as hell. And I mean, like, shout out yeah. Tariq. Like, me and Zuki are very it's, big fans of Tariq and have man of the thousand thoughts, yeah, obviously. Thoughts, yeah. yeah. I'll tell him he said so. We talk every day. Man, yeah. I mean, I've been trying to get that nigga on this show for a minute. Oh, oh, he was the Tariq? first. Yeah, he was the first person I would get on here. I was like Zuki. <laughs> I, I hit up Zuki all the time. Go look. Like, I'm a, I'm a DM Tariq. I'm a DM Tariq. <laughs> oh, wait, were you too afraid to? No, that dude's a nerd. Nah, <laughs> nah, I, I, nah. I just fuck with him though. I I always fuck with him. He's he's just so dope, man. Yeah. Like. I love his videos. He'll do, he'll, he'll do it if he yeah. has time. Yeah, I, no. I, I might I might have to press him about it on like Twitter or something. You go like, come on, no, no, I, say yes. just just DM him. <laughs> no, I didn't he's even. He's not. But, he's watching Family Guy. Cause that like, nigga uh, loves Family Guy. <laughs> I know. He, I, it might be a generational thing though, bro. Yeah. Cause like all the young, cause all the young cats love Family Guy. Like I love yeah. Family Guy. Yeah, me and <laughs> me and Zuki on that Simpsons pack, man. Yeah, we all, yeah. <laughs> we all, like we all that retirement home pack, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're allowed to like both. It's not one oh, or the shit. other. <laughs> nah, see, I had a DVD <laughs> copy of Family Guy season one and two, and that was the greatest season known to me. <laughs> they they should have kept it canceled. It could have it could have ended. Nah, good. dude, nah, dude. There's some heavy hitters in the later seasons. You gotta open your mind. Oh no, no, I watched, no sir. I, I, I rewatched all of it. I rewatched all of it over the summer. And man, Family Guy, Family Guy, fucking slaps like. I yeah, I get in yeah. arguments about Family Guy. I love Family Guy. Like once you just once you just open yourself to what the show is now, it's fine. No, it's pretty good. No, I, I ain't got no problem with the new Family Guys. Like no. that skit with Megan, uh, Megan Peter did Golden Eye when she was breaking out of the yeah. That shit was funny. I th- I think the biggest <laughs> issue with Family Guy is like Lois's characterization later on. Like they just Thanks. seem to kind of like flanderize Lois into being a bitch. But mm-hmm. yeah, she used to be like the most caring person in the house. Now she's just a now she's just mean. You yeah, know? yeah. Mm-hmm. Lois was like really sincere in those early seasons. Like she was very yeah. They all were. She was like Marge esque. Yeah. Same with like <laughs> yeah, like Peter. Peter had like a lot more like of a Archie Bunker sort of like. Oh, I'm the I'm the type of person I am, but deep down I care about my kids and I care about my family and my life, right? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it's it's interesting to see how like I don't know if that's just a byproduct of Seth having less and less input over time 
or like just being less and less involved with Family Guy. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it's different writers now. Like it's yeah, it's just I mean, it's been on for a long time, so. Yeah, stuff has changed. Like you know, people have left and stuff. Status quos get shifted around. That's just gonna happen with any like super long running show. Nah, dog, I don't accept change, man. I want the status quo <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. to be intact. <laughs> Ad infinitum. <laughs> Back in the good old days, when, when the little white was Sonic the Hedgehog, we had Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> Yo, fucking Jaleel White was so ugly with that Sonic voice. Yo, Sal. <laughs> Yo, Sally. <laughs> it's just some damn time. It's like, man, yeah, chill. Yeah, way past cool. Way past it's cool. Way past cool, too. <laughs> man. I feel like, uh, you know, for for our audience who who do know, me and Zuki press Jaleel White's Sonic voice so often. We got we got like <laughs> four or five episodes where we go like this this nigga with this fucking nasally ass voice and <laughs> voice in Sonya and Sonic Underground. <laughs> yeah, he was all three of them. It's so weird. Yeah, it's like they could have got one more dude. I never yeah. understood that choice. Why didn't they just get like? <laughs> Any like a, a voice actress to voice Sonya? I guess they're, it's they're the incredible world of deep entertainment. <laughs> their thought process was just like, well, they're related, so they should sound alike. Sonic, like, why don't you mention your brother and sister? <laughs> <laughs> they, they should bring him back. <laughs> they brought, they brought him back for that to... horrible fan film. Did you ever see that shit, Angela? <laughs> yeah, I, I know about <laughs> with that. The, with Doug Walker and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, wasn't. Uh, <laughs> Wasn't James in that too? Was James Rolfe in that shit too? I'm not sure, but probably. Yeah, that shit was wild, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's he sounded so beat in that shit. He sounded <laughs> old as fuck. <laughs> he did sound, He sounded broken. <laughs> Fucking punished like, Sonic. Dude, dude's old. Ah man, I, I was watching. You guys ever know that there's like a, it's like another sitcom he did, like right after Family Matters. Really? No. I, yeah, I had never heard about it. It's crazy. It's like, because he's not Urkel. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got to figure out what it's called. It was like, it, it was, I had like 13 episodes, did not last long. But, uh, uh which is crazy c- coming off of like a, like a 15 year long show. Yeah. How many uh, seasons did Family Matters uh, have? Like a lot. Like a lot. Yeah. Because you got to think, he was literally brought on as a guest character, and the college students loved him so much that he became the main character. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is too popular. And colloquially, we call this shit Urkel. You didn't even call it Family Matters. It's like like Family Matters, but Urkel matters more. Yeah, like. (laughs) (laughs) That's brutal. (laughs) <laughs> no, for real. Have you tried watching the Play Urkel episode? Oh, yeah. Seven? No, it's you, a know, show. <laughs> you know, you know, fucking Urkel came about that shit going, Laura, I'm carrying this shit, Laura. I'm carrying this shit. He I'm really did. on my back. Me. <laughs> you see that Nielsen's ratings? I, that's me. That's that's all me. That's just that, that's just that, uh, that Key and Phil sketch. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that shit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the other show was called Grown Ups. I, I I never heard of this thing. Grown Up. Yeah. It was like it was Jaleel White, and he was just like living with like his 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 newly married like his newly married friend couple. It was just him. It was weird. Mm. I only watched the first episode, but it was it was kind of funny. But it was just kind of. Cause it was like it was Jaleel White. It was he was like he was like it was like buff Jaleel White too. So it was like it was like as anti Urkel as you could get. Like like it was very, like, like, like very he was much. trying to he was trying to Stefan it. He was trying yeah. to Stefan her and kill that joint. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely like a Stefan show, but he wasn't as smooth as Stefan. Yo man, that shit's so hysterical. with Stefan or kill like risen up Laura. <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I remember coming home from school and seeing that. I was like, whoa, what? I'm not Urkel. I'm Stefan Urkel. Yeah. yeah. He's dressed like Hugh Hefner, just going like, oh, come on, I'm the baby. coolest man ever. Come on, girl. Know, that that, that two partner with Stefan and uh, Laura at Disney World, that's some good television right there. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> that, that dude, like, 
him having the perpetual light skin face the entire episode. <laughs> <laughs> He's like fucking looking like Trey Songs all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, he said, I'm just cool, Lord. She's like, now, now, Uncle, now, Uncle, you're not lame. Then meanwhile, yeah. Uncle just... He's like, why don't you like me, though? <laughs> why don't you... <laughs> no sweat, <in> my pet. <laughs> hey, <Lord>. no sweat. <laughs> they what? gave Urkel like fifty oh, different catchphrases. Yeah, yeah. Urkel, Urkel honestly <laughs> ate on catchphrases. Yeah, Urkel's, yeah. The, Urkel's, the, Urkel's the kind of nigga who'd like bring a girl over and go like, "You ever play Metal Slug?" <laughs> <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> well, I can play Marco, and you can be my Theo. <laughs> you're you're kind of like you're kind of like Theo, yeah. <laughs> I've definitely showed the girl a game that she does not care about. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's no. that's like a death sentence with a girl where you're like just kind of like yeah. yo. Oh, you ever you ever see Zeno Gears? You know Zeno Gears? <laughs> no, you just you can, say, you can play it off if you're funny enough. Oh man. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna type of nigga to take watch anime with a girl black. Like, We're gonna watch this. Sub no, Raw, I'm gonna translate it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's, that's like uh, next level. That's scary. That, that would scare me. Yeah, when you when you bring you bring the girl over and you go like we're gonna watch Legend of the Galactic Heroes like <laughs> we're gonna watch Gundam um, OVAs. No, nah, let's be real. No hmm. girl is gonna sit there and watch Legend of the Galactic Heroes. You gotta for real. <laughs> like if factually, she does. She's the one. Factually, yeah. you gotta you gotta have the craziest pipe to get a girl to watch Legend of the Galactic Heroes. <laughs> I like Legend of the Galactic Heroes, and even I won't watch Legend of the Galactic. Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like damn, this boy lucky he's he, he lucky he's fine because he's got me watching this like space political <laughs> drama yeah you can count me out <laughs> well you see yang yang knows that he can't defeat them with superior space force so he's gonna have them in an infinite stalemate that way he makes this guy look as bad on the political side that he's just been beat by a no-name person from earth Yo, Man, he's he, from a he, you can catch him with g, with g gun them that's when no politics just punching oh uh, yeah uh what, what do you <laughs> what do you think is the most acceptable gundam to show to show a girl probably wing I would say which from Mercury? Wing, well, Wing's like a soap. It's like it's like a soap opera. So maybe. <laughs> yeah, I was like, which from Mercury? Oh yeah, I haven't seen it yet though. It gets it's a show 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 essentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause like the thing about Gundams, most Gundam shows like that's politics. Mm -hmm. But getting before their politics, it's really a lot of those shows are really brutal. Yeah, and it's not just something like just imagine if you, hey girl, you want to watch Freedom Gundam? <laughs> <laughs> you want to watch all these people get genocided right quick? I like Gundam. Uh, man, I do like Gundam. I need to watch more of it. Wait, which uh, which you like the UC or you like the offshoot universes? Which is your favorite Gundam? UC I know you mentioned G Gundam. Uh, uh... I like Wing and G. Uh, uh so you like AC. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> AC AC's a AC is a good entry point. It's like yeah. yo, I'm I'm a I'ma just say this. The, like Zuki and I always have to stop ourselves from like really leaning into our Gundam hyperfixation. <laughs> We've had episodes where like I had to cut out 30, 30 minutes. Thirty minutes of this man and I just talking about <laughs> Gundam. Gundam talk. I'm going like no one will like this except for us. <laughs> I, I remember like in college, I was just I, I like got it in my head. I was like, okay, it's time. You're gonna be the Gundam guy. No, <laughs> that's not a fact. You don't want to... <laughs> that's, that's a started, curse. I started, I, I started yeah. building models. So I was I was building models in class. <laughs> oh man. I mean, hey, I was Gunpla too... hard though. I I got yeah, I got some nah, nah, they're cool. myself. I, yeah, I, I like I like Gunpla. They're great. <laughs> they just eat your wallet a bit. I got a bunch of Master Grade kits I haven't put together. Like I got heavy oh, arms. Dude, don't even. Dude, I'm like next to like five different boxes of unbuilt stuff. Oh, <laughs> me too. <Christ. laughs> I got like. Say... It's not all Gundam though. Yeah. Some of it's just like Sergeant Frog stuff. I gotta build. Oh shit, you oh, fuck man. with Carol Gunsaw, oh, my man. Yeah. <laughs> memory unlocked. Memory unlocked. We got, we got good guests here. We got good Oh uh, yeah, that was my jam back in high school was uh 
<laughs> Afro Gunza? Are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. Uh, what about uh, let's, what about I- Iki Tosin? Did you watch that? Did I watch Iki Tosin? <laughs> Yeah, I did. <laughs> I used to watch that. On my I used to watch that on my Wii. <laughs> These cooler ass niggas like, let me watch this on my Wii right quick. This, this nigga with the nah, PSP dude, UMD. Nah, dude, it was it was it was nah, dude, it was so easy back because like Funimation used to just like upload yeah. the whole anime for yeah. free. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then on demand too. Yeah. Cause I watch, remember I watched Iki Tosin, I watched Tango Tenge, I watched Ed Gear. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I was like, yeah. what was this? Yeah, Tango Tenge is like, ah, dude. I, I really, I really liked that first half, and then it just went to flashbacks for the other half. I was, oh, I was yeah. like, no. I mean, the, the manga was kind of cool for a point, but like, yeah, yeah I, read, I read, I read most of the manga. That yeah. manga is kind of unreadable, though. Like the artwork's so busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> fair. Like, I think the like, yeah, the the storytelling and the action and everything's very illegible. I agree, but like, yeah. as like single images, they're pretty good. Like, yeah, yeah. they are. But together, because yeah. I was gonna say, uh, because me and one of my other homies was having a debate, and I was like, which anime series fell out the more? Kanichi the Mightiest Disciple or Iki Tosin? <laughs> Not Iki Tosin. Uh, I I, I don't know. I'm thinking about the show Tenko Tenge. Hey, we don't talk. We don't. We don't speak ill of Kenichi here. That's like, <laughs> that's my boy. <laughs> Yo, what? I was talking about uh, the two main characters fought who went in the fight, and I was like, I like uh, Kenichi. He's cool, but he'll get his ass whooped by the guy from Tingo. Tinge, because who? Uh, that, who? They, that's uh, not fair. Nagi? They got, they got, they got, they got, they got magic in him. <laughs> that's not fair. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> Kenichi is just like Kenichi is like one of my favorite characters like ever because that dude he sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. he, but he got where he was by trying, dude. Yeah, like, it's, he's just got the he's got that work ethic. Yeah, everything he got he earned. Yeah, he got the Rock Lee. <laughs> yeah. he the he definitely, he's definitely Rock. <laughs> like ah, uh, dude, I love Kenichi. Like the man- the anime is like all right, but I like the manga. I read the manga. I read that a lot. I wish they had uh adapted more of it because like right where they stopped is when it starts getting like real good that's mm-hmm. what i heard i haven't read the manga but i heard right when it stops it gets real good i'm a big fan yeah. of like the liquid stuff and just like the brawling oh stuff. yeah oh dude same not even yeah <laughs> i love the liquid stuff oh like did you ever get into uh crows uh, I, I just started <laughs> oh hell yeah one of one of my favorite delinquent mangas um uh bakuan reto which is like a, mm-hmm. a biker manga mm-hmm yeah, it's it's really good. It's really good. It's just like like people who are like in first year who are like just starting in, to get into like uh uh Bokuzoku. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking good. It's very underrated. <laughs> I got <laughs> these stars for like I was like looking for it. I was like any kind of game uh, or whatever. It's just like if I could have a pompadour. This is uh, <laughs> uh there's another one called Out. It's about it's about oh, the liquid. Out, too. Out's oh. dope. Yeah, out's so dope. Yeah. yeah. It's from Dropout, which is the prequel where they're, in, where they're like uh, middle school, then there's out where they're in high school. Now, I didn't, then that delinquent manga was like, it went from like a delinquent ma- manga to like power for, yeah. for Japanese teenagers. <laughs> Japanese <laughs> like, power. <laughs> this nigga got me deceased with that shit. <laughs> That's a very good segue. Like, D'Angelo, what are like, what are some of your like big inspirations? Like, what got you into art? than to like animation in general oh uh a lot actually like uh i mean i grew up watching a lot of like cartoon network uh-huh. my, my like my biggest like artistic inspiration is like even though i don't like draw exactly like him because I, I my my drawing style is just like a melting pot like a bunch of people i like i love anything gindy touches like that's my favorite Legend. like samurai jack's like my favorite show ever that's it that's uh, interesting that like gindy has so many interesting styles that you can be inspired by his styles differently because like yeah. you can you can like be inspired by his dexter style or his samurai yeah. jack style or like even his like hotel trans Pennsylvania or his direction on Powerpuff Girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gennady, Gennady's too good. Or oh, his best friend in the Star Wars. 
The, the, yeah, no, oh, the Clone Wars is so the good tough. Clone Wars. Yeah. Clone Wars is so <laughs> tough. I love it. Man, if, if Star Wars was more like that, I'd be way more into Star Wars. Facts. Man, Man I, I remember how ice cold Grievous was in those shorts. Man. Then, then he was a bitch in the movie. <laughs> Man, Grievous, Grievous was like the hardest nigga you seen this man come. Just this man was eight what minutes the, of like beating um, everyone's ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was he was like the he was like the Sith equivalent of fucking Omar from the wire in that yeah. shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone starts running when you hear Grievous start whistling. Yeah, <laughs> Grievous coming. Grievous coming. You remember, the first, you remember the first time he shows up, he kills Shaggy from Scooby Doo. He just comes. Yeah, up. he does. Yeah, uh, <laughs> zonks, man. Yeah. Zonks, man. <laughs> I love that man. That that show ruled. Honestly. Grievous was so hard that Mace Windu had to cripple this man by. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if Mace Windu was like, yo, fuck fighting this dude, I'ma just crush his heart. I ain't trying to fight this guy. And I'm like, wait, Jen, I could do that? Why don't they do this in the movie? Yeah, exactly. Like, what do you guys do it? It's because of ethics. They have a code. Like, they can't They man, can't just be crushing movies, everyone's man, heart. Man, whatever, man. They spent three oh. movies trying to kill Count Duke. You could have just crushed his heart. Man, what ethics, bro? They stay doing they they stay jumping people. I ain't nah, trying to hit nah. my No, nah, okay, same <laughs> ethics, same ethics. Like Shadow Cat <laughs> from X Men, she could push out everyone's brain if she wanted to. Yeah. She, she could, could through. she could just push people's organs out of their body, but she's a decent enough person that she doesn't do that. <laughs> I, yeah, but like <laughs> you say ethics, right? But like yeah. they come at the sip with like laser swords. Like what's more ethical? Not what even make, that. What makes cutting a dude's head off it's more epic than crushing their It's a duel, though. It's a duel. Like, there's, no, it's there's not honor. Even, <laughs> it's not even a duel. <laughs> it's not even a duel with honor. The Jedi's believe in 2 one because it's always the master and the pet one. That's true. And oh, they always man. jump people. They ganged up on, uh, what's his face? The, <laughs> what's his name? Dark Maul? No, no, man, man, yo, no, the no, fucking no, Jedi no, just no, stomping no, people out in the corner. They are. <laughs> No, think about it. You think you hard? Maul... You think you hard? Because <laughs> Darth Maul only got a one on one because he separated yeah. Obi Wan and then with that little barrier. <laughs> but other than that, there's no jump that man. <laughs> yeah, dude, got me weak. Let's this, let this man D'Angelo talk about his influence, Suzuki. Uh, yeah, I forgot about My that. Bad. My bad. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> we all got we all got sidetracked talking about Jedi's fucking. Stop <laughs> people out like his world star. <laughs> world Death Star. That's <laughs> not that it is. <laughs> Fuck around, found out he did. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> but yeah, besides like Gindy, like I grew up a lot with uh, like the Bruce Tim stuff, like mm -hmm. all that. That's like yeah. one of my favorites, like the DCAU. That's like my favorite thing that ever came on TV. Just like that collection of shows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lot, like shit. Ben Ten, like you know, a lot of a lot of stuff that I just like love to death, and like I want to make stuff like, like I I'm a I'm gonna say all, that all like my comedy all my comedy stuff though comes from like the stuff I mentioned earlier, like mm. downtown and mission. Like when I write a comedy, I write I write like that. That's dope, man. Like I, I yeah. fuck with like I. That was one of the things I really fucked with with screen time was like that you wanted to like tell a young adult story. Yeah, because yeah. I think those are really overlooked. Like especially yeah. now, which is weird. You'd think that there yeah. would be more. Like most things are just like family. It's like yeah, but not everyone started a family yet. There's that in between period before you get a family. You know exactly. Yeah. I think it's just because the marketing, too, because everybody who grew up watching those shows, when they got cut their teeth in the industry, they instantly made kids shows, like, family-oriented stuff versus, like, I'm going to make a young adult think about young adults, like, actual adults, not teenagers. Like, they're out yeah. there, they're on their own, they can do whatever they want, but they're still just finding their way in the world. Yeah. And, like, you kind of don't have that vibe anymore with these new, like, cartoons. It's either really over-the-top adult animation stuff that's, like, comedy or super violent or something for kids it's no in between or no middle ground or like yeah 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 like yeah. 
like i mean obviously same creators but with like megas compared to downtown it still has that like young adult mm -hmm. ethos right like that 20 yeah. something year old kind of vibe to it <laughs> yeah, they don't really make kids cartoons with like adult protagonists anymore they really nope. don't like even because when you think of this like kind of recent generation where you got like i would say like what like gumball craig of the creek <laughs> owl yeah. house amphibia owl house. Like, yeah. like everyone's kind Dude, of in that like ten to like, twelve I, I, range. I like, right? like, I like those shows, but Me like, too. you know, yeah. I, do, I, I do, I do miss like, like yeah. the last, the last like big one was like regular show, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like people who are like nineteen or twenty years old, 20 just years kind of floating yeah. through life. Yeah. And then they gave us close enough, but then they got killed. They <laughs> yep. <back> and <laughs> Yo, WB was like, a show that's successful, cancel it. <laughs> this isn't yeah. waiting. This Wait. isn't waiting. Yeah. Reruns? People are like, <laughs> waiting. Reruns? Where are they, where oh, are they rerunning Wayne Head? Yeah, who's, who's <laughs> rerunning Wayne Head, sir? The <laughs> night. You gotta find somebody with a old VHS <laughs> copy uploaded. <laughs> that shit was lost media until like uh, until a few years ago. <laughs> that got me weak. <laughs> Fucking Wayne Head, dog. Hey, that was like episode three. We talked about Wayne Head. Yeah, we did. That was like, yeah, one of our first episodes of the podcast. Me and Zuki were just talking about Wayne Head. <laughs> I used to watch. I mean, I used to watch Wayne Head. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Yeah, I was like, how did they lose the message to Wayne here? Like, <laughs> it was like, I feel like there's something. Ken and I would just had this shit. Just someone, some, someone's got it. So everyone's got everything somewhere. Yeah, it's probably in the vaults. WB's not looking like not looking at this. They're like, ooh, this show could actually make the picture. <laughs> those weird, like they don't make they also they don't make those like weird celebrity Vandy cartoons anymore. No, they did. Remember what? the Ellen DeGeneres show came out through WB and it was garbage. You remember? Yeah, the, the, that kid show. Yeah, the kid show. Yeah, I haven't watched. I haven't watched any of it. Yeah, I know that was like the last celebrity Vanity cartoon. Nah, but what about that Craig of the Creek movie though? That I, I liked how they, they ended the series with that because I was like, man, everything. But, makes they, sense. but they didn't end it. It's not over yet. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought the movie was the end of the Craig of the Creek. Nah, well, they, the, the episodes left it. They got the follow up yeah. show, but that's only like what yeah. one season, right? Like the show, the show, the last. The, this season is gonna be the last season, but they're not done like airing episodes. Oh, okay. There's still more left. Okay, good. Because I need more Craig of the Creek yeah, in my brain. I gotta, I gotta it, it, uh, watch it, all of Craig of the Creek. Uh, Zuki's been it, trying to get me on that show. It's, it's, it's like, really good, though, from what I've seen. <laughs> I didn't get into it immediately, but, like, once I, like, I got into it, like, once they started doing, like, the other side of the Creek stuff, and I was like, oh, it's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> this man got in when it got good. Hey, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're like those people who got in the Steven Universe after the Garnet fight. I was there from Laser Lake Cannon. I was there. I was there from the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I was there when he first sung the Cookie Cat song. Yeah. I, I was there when we still rose. Yeah. <laughs> I like how uh, they have a bunch of crossover in uh, uh, Craig of the Creek too. Like uh, how OKKO OK is a punch, is called Little Punch in that uh, Punch Buddies game. Yeah. <laughs> they got uh, Stevie. They got Cookie Cats in there. So the Cookie they, they, like it's just like a food you can eat there. Yeah. It's cool. yeah. It's like, did you eat my cook? Did you take my Cookie Cat? <laughs> if you, if yeah. you aren't if you aren't in the trenches and the tech millionaire episode onward you, you ain't about about it you ain't about about it i was i was there man i saw i went to a convention i saw an episode early i was there oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> it's really funny because uh man went to that same convention so we we met before we knew we met honestly and and that's a very good segue as well like what are what are some of the moments that really cemented your love of animation like like really made you want to be a cartoonist Mm, there's a lot of those. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 
those like those big events really like you know like like when the movies would drop like stuff like operation zero like oh, yeah. trip like oh, those yeah. big like cool moments just like i was like i want i want one of those but the thing is like i, I had originally wanted to make video games oh, and okay. uh so like i was like learning how to code and i was like i was animating because who else was I going to get to draw sprites for me? Yeah. <laughs> it's like at like fifteen, I have no money. Oh well, yeah, like you're broke. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I had to, and, I, and I had always, I had always drawn, but like I kind of fell off. But I, so I, I had gotten back into it, and I was like, oh, let me draw, so I can make like my cool sword dudes fight. And then when I was going to school, when I was going to college, I had, uh, I had applied for like the animation program, but uh, I hadn't, I didn't get in, mostly because I mean I was still, my, my stuff was rough, so I understand. But, uh, but I, well, I had applied for the, uh, no, I applied for the game art program, and I didn't get in, but I got into the animation program, which I guess was like, cause that would, that would have gave me more of the fundamentals, you know. But mm-hmm. uh, like game art, like uh, the game art was more like, you know what you're doing with, with animation stuff. So, Let's also teach you coding, you know. And so I, I got into the animation program. So I, that's where I was just like, okay, I guess I'm gonna make, I'm, I guess I'm gonna make cartoons. And so I, uh, I went through that, and I was just like, okay, cool. I'm, I guess I'll start doing this. Uh, I got, I got really into character design because that's like my favorite part of like the whole process, just like making a cool dude and like you know fleshing them out. That's my yeah. favorite part. And I was just like, I guess I'll, I wonder what I'll make. And I, but I was still drawing comics at the time. I was still like making a lot of different comic ideas. Mm-hmm. And I kind of started getting jaded with animation for a while because I was because like a lot of the movies they were coming out weren't that appealing to me. I don't know, Cartoon Network was changing a lot. A lot of stuff was getting canceled. But then I had like <laughs> this is funny. Uh, I was like completely fed up with like anything like three D like CGI animation. I was like fed up with any of that. But then I had, like saw like I saw Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs too, and I was like, oh, this move is really different than like a Disney movie. I didn't know. I didn't know people still knew how to like make stuff move different. Was that was that Lord Miller who did? Uh fighting with the chance of meatballs yeah yeah i saw the first one too that was great too but like i don't know why the 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 animation in two was really good i was like oh wait maybe i maybe cgi movies are cool i started like getting into more stuff like more shows i like started popping up i was big into adventure time and like regular show and like that whole sea and renaissance era that was cool like stuff like chorus started coming out like it felt like cartoons were coming back for a second it was it was great and i was just like i guess it was like i i really do love animation yeah i've decided to you know try that (laughs) all the other stuff i want to do because i want to do everything that's just so cool man I don't know how you feel about this, D'Angelo, but like being able to draw, it's a very good to convey to other artists. Like if you ever have to like commission art- other artists or like work with like a team of artists, like knowing how to draw is is a real asset. Yeah, because if you know how it works, you can direct people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like it's been a real benefit to me where like I know I'm not the level of the artists I work with or anything. It's, it's very beneficial to trying to like kind of craft my vision for what I want to do and what I set forth with. So in in the case of yourself, when it comes to animation, like what was your like, I need to animate moment in your life? Or what really made you go like, I want to be an animator for the rest of my life? Hmm. I mean, well, that's the thing though, right? Like I don't want to be an animator the rest of my life. I want to do everything. There's so many different art forms I love and I want to get good at as many of them as I can. For right now, though, like, with animation, it's just, like, I just... It's just, like, stories I know that only I can tell, and I really want to get them out, right? Like, I started working on screen time, like, right when the pandemic was like at its height like me and man and Tariq and all of them it became really good friends and like i was like i kind of want to tell a story like about this you know just like people Cause that's basically that's a lot that's where a lot of it comes from it's just yeah. being friends with them and i was just like i and like uh like adult animation was like getting a little stagnant and i was just like i i, I know it could be more than this because it used to be more than this absolutely so i really wanted to just like make something that like those shows make me feel you know Right. But like with a more modern lens, you know? Yeah. Or personal lens. I find a lot of adult animations like lean into being raunchy. That's rather, what I was about to say. Yeah, rather than like leaning into like being about like the adult experience, like being in your twenties or your early thirties, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of these shows want to just be Rick and Morty 2 or, or mm-hmm. Family Guy 2. 
a lot of it is like like that. I mean, there are some gems if you like if you like know where to look. Like there's some pretty good stuff out there. Right. Uh, there's like there's like you know there's some like smaller shows like Tear Along the Dotted Line. That cool like introspective like style of shows that like are still funny. They have a little bit more to say, you know. Yeah. It is kind of far like few and far between. Like a lot of it just boils down to like who can do like the grossest or loudest thing. Campus PD like stuff in that camp. Like it's like I wish they would make something else. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Like I was when I rewatched Mission Hill, which is like a like Mission Hill is like a beautiful show. Like yeah, yeah. It, it really should be celebrated as one of the greats. Mm-hmm. I was like genuinely as an adult man, I was shocked at how good that show was. And yeah. like as an adult, I went, wow, what a what a funny like resonant show this is, you know. Mm-hmm. It and and it totally holds up thematically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the the main point that I'm kind of getting at is like a lot of that stuff is sacrificed just to appeal to the lowest common denominator. Yeah. When yeah. I know I know for a fact that like people who I know as coworkers, as personal friends, would resonate deeper with a show that really kind of spoke to them the way that Mission Hill spoke to me. Yeah, like people don't want to take risks that often. They want to make, you know, they want to make as much money as they can. You know, like it's, it's never like the people working on the show's fault, right? Because like yeah. no, one, no one, no one sets out to make something bad. And like a lot of it's just like studio meddling and like blah 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 has to be like this. Like you see like certain shows and like their concept art will look pretty cool. Yeah, but it, but then it'll get like polished down into like the same look adult animated like stuff that comes out every day on like netflix i was gonna say i think the streamer services too got a lot to do with that because like they found yeah. that like this show is raunchy and this and this and uh i think efforts for efforts for family with bill burr i think that's a funny ass show I yeah love I, efforts, I, for I think <laughs> efforts, for, as, efforts for family is a really great show yeah but like i've, the seen, art, I've seen that but, a lot of times but the art style is kind of, yeah. It's not, yeah. You know, that's not a show you go, I watch this for the animation. You watch nah, it. I, I, like, I wish it had way better character animation. Because, like, yeah, cause you can like tell thematically, it's it really yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that show kind of busted. But uh, it, is, it is a really good show, if you can look past that part. <laughs> yeah. I, like, watched the whole thing again when I had COVID. I was dying watching Ephesus for <laughs> <Yeah, like, laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? You, you, you know what? The little kid. That's the funniest kid. Oh man! <laughs> you know what got me fucked up is is fucking Bill's wife being voiced by Jimmy Neutron, and you can yeah, hear it. Forgive me. Uh, I'm, I'm wait, yeah, I'm waiting for her to say "Got a blast." <laughs> She was she's a big anime voice actress as well. She had a lot of like uh, voice work on Tenchi Muyo. Yeah, that she does Zatch Bell. Zatch Bell, yeah. Debbie Derryberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love (laughs) their name's so much fun to say. It is. But like (laughs) but like you you hear her voice and you're like, oh that's Jimmy Neutron. (laughs) Yeah, it's kinda (laughs) hard. (laughs) Like it's it's like when you hear Tara Strong's voice and you're like, Timmy? (laughs) <laughs> you know, <laughs> you'll, leave, you, you, you'll leave her here, Timmy or Ben Ten. Let's yeah. Those are two modes. It's Timmy, Ben Ten, or Bubbles. I would say Bubbles yeah, is in the pocket. Go, yeah. yeah, yeah. But Those like the three, that's... or Raven. <laughs> like Tara, Tara's got okay range. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not the biggest yeah, fan no, of Terra Strong, but she's got yeah, very good but range. Not. <laughs> it's not like she doesn't she doesn't bust out Raven for a lot of characters though. She'll bust out bubbles for multiple characters. Raven Raven is when she voices like Prisea from Tales of Symphonia, or she voices Ingrid mm-hmm. from uh, Fillmore. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, she is Ingrid, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I love um, Fillmore. We we're, we're never yeah, gonna great. Yo, never Zuki gonna and I were talking anything. about Fillmore. That chicken was dry. <laughs> Real dry. <laughs> <laughs> one more thing, baby. One more thing. The chicken was dry. Real dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fillmore made, I ain't gonna lie, Fillmore made a brother want to become a safety patrol monitor. These motherfuckers. Actually, <laughs> factually, that that nigga woman, that nigga tried to get people to reform, man. Like <laughs> he would chase you, he would chase you down to the ends of the earth to make you make sure you do the right thing. Oh, that shit was funny because it's some video stuff. Like, Why are you riding on lockers? You ain't gotta do this, man. Act like this dude doing good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking, like you know when you yeah. made a mistake right when like fucking Vallejo is going like yeah we, we got someone who's got multiple absences 
It's <laughs> <laughs> like you're, you're making my blood pressure go up, Fillmore. Honestly, the Angelo. Exactly. The Angelo. Fillmore. Oh, I, I would love it. Uh, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna crack up at this. Me and the homies. So it's Zuki and like two artists I work with. I I produce hip hop, so I work with like a pair of like artists who happen to like cartoons because every nigga does. Yeah. Uh, we're we're doing a tier list of cartoon moms. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> I know I knew that would appeal to you because because I I know you like the baddies. Yeah. <laughs> well. Well, we're doing a tier list of cartoon moms. We we've been talking about this shit. We've been talking about on Bun Choi's mom. We've been talking about fucking <laughs> Luz's mom. Um, who who mm -hmm. are the other like goaded moms, Zucavelli? Uh Prudy Proud. Mm. Sunset Boulevard is that's last year. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mama, Mrs. Dexter's last name. I don't know what that man last name is. <laughs> Mrs. Laboratory. Yeah. Honorable mentions the uh, the principal from uh, Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> Does she have I get, kids? I get, I Does I she get, have kids? I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. In the regards of the laboratory family, I was talking to the homie. I was talking to like a very close homie about how fucking tapped in and how like relatable Dexter's dad is on that coffee rant. <laughs> yeah. That, sh that shit becomes more relevant every single year I gain, man. <laughs> and fucking Jeff Glenn Bennett just being like, you kids have youth. <laughs> You don't need <laughs> coffee. You don't need the coffee. <laughs> no. That shit but kills get, me. That shit kills I get that me. Shit. I get that shit, but since I'm super sensitive to caffeine, if I, if I drink a cup of coffee, it, just, it keeps me up for like hours. Like if I take a sip now, I wouldn't be able to sleep until like six the next day. Yeah, I, I, I wish, finish man, up I drinking wish. coffees at 10. I wish caffeine still worked for me like it, like that. Ah, uh, dude, <laughs> I've built up a tolerance. Are you drinking an energy drink, son? Are you drinking energy I, drinks? I, I, I used to, but I can't no more. Oh, that's good. That's good. They, yeah. they, they, they taste like poison now. I can't. <laughs> yeah. My body says stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, was... this, this nigga drinking you know, fucking coffee drinks like oh, like a future song, like their walk, man. <laughs> I used to, dude, I used to, I, I used to pound them back, like in my heyday. <laughs> yeah. I used to drink this one that was like, ah, uh, dude, it was like the bang for your buck. It was like a dollar, and it had mm. like it had like triple the caffeine of a monster. Uh, was it, uh, <laughs> I probably thought for that, uh, was that Volt? Bang. I mean, was that Volt? No, it wasn't Volt. Nah, they don't, wasn't I don't Volt. think they, they don't sell it no more. They don't sell it no more. Wasn't it called, like, C4 or something? No, it's called, like, Wired. It was, like, Wired. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's because people kept dying off that. Like, yeah. really? Because, like, like, cause like monster, the monster's the limit. Right? It's, like, yeah. 150, uh, milligrams of caffeine or something. Yeah, yeah the so. Wired was, like, 300 something. Good so, God! The, uh, Good. Yeah, that, 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 I used to, when I I used to be able to stay up for an entire day like Dog. off of that like and not and not feel it. Dog, just <laughs> smoke uh, crack. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I was already drinking it. Man. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, cause like, uh, cause my uncle got me some energy drinks from his job, and like this is the. This is the same company that makes a uh, prime. So I broke the energy drink. I looked at the milligram. <laughs> it said 220 milligrams of caffeine. I'm like, yep, I can't sleep now. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. what I had to do back in the day to finish all my, like, cause I was, that was work. I did my schoolwork. And I wanted to go out and have fun. Like, uh, I, I mean, that's college, man. That's college. Yeah. What life balance? That doesn't exist, homie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Okay, so like, like I, I will say this, because uh, we talked about a bit of your inspirations, but like, what are what are some of your favorite cartoons, D'Angelo? My favorite yeah. cartoons, like yeah. in general, like yeah, like if you were to like sum up like four or five cartoons that were like inspirational to you, that you were like, okay, I fuck with these heavy. You want inspirational or favorite? Favorite, uh, yeah, favorite. I guess favorite, favorite, yeah. All right. Well, like I said before, my favorite cartoon is Samurai Jack. I just I love everything about it. It's great. It's perfect. I love that show. <laughs> Primal. I think I actually think Primal is better than Samurai Jack. But I have I have so much of a history with Samurai Jack. But I love Primal. 
I agree with you, but for different reasons. I like the concept of a caveman throwing throwing hands. <laughs> <laughs> it really, it, 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 it's so brutal. Yeah. <laughs> but the part of the caveman was tapped in because he lost his family, but it's like, damn, this black bitch kind of bad, though. <laughs> Man, what else? Uh, uh, Man, so much. Because there's so many, like, I love Avatar. Like, mm-hmm. that's one of my favorites. Like, I love Don't Avatar. Know. Great. Such a good show. I'm trying to think of something like recent there. I mean, like uh, that that Ducktales reboot is also one of my favorite. That's like my second mm-hmm. favorite. It, it like trade spots with like impossible. Yeah, like, my I, favorite I never, I never show. watched the the Ducktales reboot. Is it like really it's so solid? Good. Okay, all hey, right. I love it. I'm gonna give hey, it. We time. can make it easier for you. What's your favorite old school cartoon? What's your favorite new school cartoons? Because I know whenever someone asks me this question, I have a hard time. Because like, because I really like OKKO and Craig of the Creek, but I like the old school stuff too. So it's like yeah. kind of. Well, yeah, I love OKKO too. Uh, well, this yeah. is my favorite like recent show. Hmm. What came out recently? <laughs> well, technically, OKKO, OK, Craig of the Creek, all of the all house, all of the shows we mentioned mm-hmm. did come out recently, but now yeah. over now. Yeah, I really like I really like uh, like Amphibian Outhouse too. I wouldn't call them like one of my favorites. Yeah. They are really good, you know. Craig the Creek's also really good. I love Craig the Creek. Kids mm-hmm. Next Door, Kids Next Door is great. <laughs> yeah, totally. yeah, that's like the perfect show for a kid. I love Kids Next Door so much. Of course, like the DCAU stuff, like Bat- Batman the Animated Series, Superman, Justice League. I think Justice League Unlimited is like a perfect show. Like, oh, no, no. Man. oh yeah, man, yeah, Justice yeah. League Unlimited's <laughs> goaded, man. It's so it goaded. Still holds up. It still holds up. I watched that at the yeah. during the pandemic. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna rewatch all of this. Like, Yo, that I'm like, that fucking and of course Dwayne McDuffie wrote that episode. Oh uh, like, yeah, my boy. But like <laughs> that that goddamn clip of soups just going like, oh, you can handle it. The dark side. <laughs> oh, dude, good. that's like the best. Oh, dude, too good. That whole, no one that can whole touch speed. it. No one can touch <laughs> that shit. It's like, oh, like, no. I'm, like I'm just like I'm living in a world of cardboard. I'm just like, whoa. But you can handle it, can't you, tough boy? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, uh, give me give me so goosebumps good. every time. So good. <laughs> that's like that's, the best Superman. That's one of the greatest yeah. Superman moments, like I'd mm-hmm. say ever. I I'd would say, straight yeah. up say in the history of Superman. It's like that one gave us like the definitive version of every character. It's like it's like yeah, the yeah. best Superman. It's the best Batman. It's the best Flash. Like, oh, the Flash is so good when he beats the shit out of Brainiac Lex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. almost dies when he yeah. just like. <laughs> zips around the world to punch him over and over again. Yeah, over again. So good. yeah I was like, damn. Holy <laughs> like, jeez, how fast can he go? Because he was like <laughs> intercontinental punches. Like, <laughs> like that line from Superman. Made, <laughs> that line when Superman said that, I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. Superman really gangster for real. Because the only other time we see Superman do some real gangster shit is when it's like Superman versus the uh, Imperfects. Those uh, dudes where he had to lobotomize that one guy. Oh yeah, Superman versus the Elite. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, damn, Superman really said fuck fuck everybody. We would be a trouble if it wasn't for Batman and Lynch yeah. with that night for <laughs> Yeah, if, if you pussy, I ain't fuck with you. Quote Superman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's a great there's a there's a great comic <laughs> where like the Joker it's just mm-hmm. like sick of dealing with Batman and Gotham. Yeah. So he, so he goes to Metropolis. So he's just like, you know what? I'm gonna just mess with Superman. I bet I can beat Superman. Yeah. And no, like, uh, so he goes there and it's just like, so first of all, Superman's just like, oh yeah, your bombs, I found those. Those are gone. Fix that already. <laughs> <laughs> and then no. like, and the Joker tells a joke and uh, Superman laughs and that freaks the Joker out. Cause he's not used to people laughing at the jokes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He just leaves. He goes home. Like, he's just like, I'm just going back there. He's like, yo. Yeah, this... I'm going back across the wall to the this, yeah, this, guy, this guy weird as fuck. He, he likes my jokes and he found my bombs. <laughs> Man, I love I love the episode of uh is it World's Finest is the two parter when... when they when they team yeah. up, yeah. 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 Where like yeah, yeah soups and soups and Batman have such a great dynamic in that where Batman uh, like yeah. just goes like yeah you're Clark Kent I know yeah. I know 
<laughs> and then he just he, he he's he salutes him like once yeah. he finds out he's like he's just like hey clark gotcha gotcha <laughs> yeah and, and of yeah. course clark just looks through his mask and goes like wow yeah, bruce wayne is, but, oh shit yeah, you're bruce is, wayne just like that's just like that's not fair that's cheating <laughs> <laughs> i know you're bruce wayne i recognize yeah. your heartbeat <laughs> oh man He's like, stop hitting on my girl. <laughs> <laughs> that man's like, that she wants to fuck with a real nigga. I'm bad man. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. And a good I love me a good Superman and Batman story. Honestly, yeah. like they're they're like a handful yeah. of like really great soups and Batman stories. It's a good movie. Uh Public Enemies. That one's yeah, great. Yeah, that was yeah. really good, yeah. And shout out to uh shout out to John Stewart for making the Greenlander cool. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> Damn. Hal Jordan hater. Hal Jordan hater. Damn. I hear that I hear that a lot. I like I like I like most of the Green Lanterns. My favorite's uh guy. My favorite's Kyle. Kyle, Kyle Rainer, Green yeah. Lantern. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Guy Gardner's like an acquired taste. Kyle Rayner's kind of like the he me for real for real. Yeah. <laughs> <Green> <laughs> <Lantern>. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. No, nah, see, the moment they show John Stewart as the Green Lantern going to his old hood to get his hair chopped. Yeah. <laughs> but Justice League made him cool. He wasn't that cool oh, no. in the comics nah. until Justice nah, League. No, but oh, yeah, no. Justice Justice League got him the crispy fade and shit too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went to the classic like bald dude with the beard. Yeah. yeah. Bald dude goatee look. <laughs> <laughs> you remember shit. the crossover episode with Static Shock and uh, Justice yeah. League? Yeah, yeah. Yo, when, like, when yeah. Static had Static had the shoulder locks after all those years. <laughs> uh, it's like uh, there's that great scene where he's just like, "I'm your son," and Green Lantern's like, "What?" <laughs> he's like, "I got a kid." Damn, you ain't so wait. Great. I wasn't. You ain't talking. To, no, I wasn't even talking to bitches. I'm, I'm your pops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm laughing at, uh, I like how also I like how in the uh, D- Justice League Unlimited universe that they weren't afraid to show like these adult co workers being couples and stuff. Cause like, yeah. he had yeah. uh, Green Lantern with Hawk Girl. I was like, damn. Yeah, and they let he trade up for Vixen. He should have kept Hawk Girl. She could fly. <laughs> yeah, you, I, was, you I, was more of a, fly. I was I was more of a Vixen fan. I was like, whoa. Yo. <laughs> The Angela wants a bitch who looks like Nia Long, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But to be but to be real, all of the DC black women look like Nia Long, because didn't they have the Nia Long like looking black woman in Batman Beyond? They did. They did. <laughs> They were getting some stuff off on that show. They probably shouldn't have been showing the kids. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, fucking Bruce Tim's coomer ass was just like, let me think. Yeah. Let me show these uh, these absolute children, these absolute Hello, children, a bad bitch right quick. Hello, little <laughs> two-year-old kids. It just changed like, my brain chemistry. <laughs> you like clowns? No. What if we made the Joker have a gang of twin? these yeah. two twin clown girls? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what just if the like, clowns like, are bad? Just like, yeah, thanks, Bruce Tim. Now I want clown girls to beat me up. Thanks for oh, that. Man. What if I made this one girl that was stretchy? Yeah, that's it. God damn it. Why, I, why I, did Bruce I, Tim I give me so many fetishes? <laughs> I got his art book, and it's it's like the horniest art book I own. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Bruce Tim's a complete coomer, man. <laughs> the fact you that he's drawn Bo- even Gellion artwork, like that man's a coomer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but what if we could get the totally spies art book of the character models we weren't able to see? Like, enough, <laughs> enough, enough, sir. Enough. <laughs> All I'm right. gonna stop this. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you off, sir. Honestly, D'Angelo, like. I I know Zuki was going to ask you the Zuki ask ask the question ask ask D'Angelo the question what's you the, had what's, what's, in the pocket. What's the question? I have a question in my pocket yeah. cuz uh, <laughs> the picture that you drew of Torongo League Lila. Oh, yeah, what's up? <laughs> Why was she double caked up? Why is she double caked up? That's just, I, that's just how I draw girls. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you, you drawing girls so thick, dog? I can't control it. That's just what my hand does. It's like as soon as I touch the pen. <laughs> this this man with the Wacom tablet just draws a, a C and then draws a bigger C. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
it's not up to me. I can't I can't even draw olive oil like a stick. Even if, if I draw olive oil, she's gonna come out with a little something, something. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like me and Brian's got a running theory where we can look at an artist and be like, this brother's black. Mm-hmm. Just about, just about <laughs> black. When, you, when you see the cheeks, you see the cheeks and you're just like, this a nigga. This a nigga. <laughs> I, had to, I, had to rein, I had to rein it in a little bit. It used to be worse. <laughs> oh, man. Like, that yeah, one picture we found was uh, Rouge the Bat with the apple bottom jeans. I'm like, what uh. nigga drew this? <laughs> Yeah, fucking. I'm just, I'm just looking at this nigga hats off media talking to the green goblin mask, going like, "Jar with the bigger ass, jar with the bigger." <laughs> God damn, that got me weak, man. Oh, shit. And someone, someone's got to do it. Hell yeah, yeah. might as well yeah. be. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I love your art, man. Like your yeah. your line works super clean too. Like it is. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's one, one of my favorite parts of the process is line work. I've always tried to get good at that. I'm like Lila Double Cake. Yeah, brother brewed this. I already know. Yeah, <laughs> that that bitch throwing a roundhouse kick and the cheeks jiggling the whole last time. Man. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, I didn't even exaggerate that much. If you go back and look at that show, they'd be drawing Lila kind of crazy. They do. Yeah. They do. Matt Groening kind of spazzed, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that dude sent the character sheets and he was like, yo, make this bitch thick. <laughs> yeah. And make up those exclusively kicks. Yeah. <laughs> they just get back the notes, it just says bigger. Bigger. <laughs> bigger. Ah, uh, shit. All right, well, we we probably gonna wrap up fairly soon, homie. Is there is there anything that you want to share? Anything that you wanted to like really plug there, man? Hmm. I got a video coming out soon. Oh hell yeah! I'm Watch doing, the homies' videos, people. I'm doing Johnny Bravo. Oh uh, yes. man, <laughs> that's dope. How how deep do you get into it? I like. I'm, okay, all right. Like, cause I it's, fuck it's, with it's, Van Partible a lot. So yeah, yeah. It's gonna be like it's it's like a spiritual sequel to like my Dexter video. So I want to get deep into it. Oh, that's dope. Can I just say I I fucking loved your Dexter video like that. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> that made me rewatch like a good chunk of Dexter as well. I'm I'm a very that's, big fan. That's... Even though like the later the stuff later is season. obviously a mess. But, yeah, you know. that's still my favorite video. Yeah, I'm at right there. But the Loud got help with those later ones. Oh, Chris yeah. Savino. Yeah, Chris Savino. Yeah. yeah. That the and Pop-Up Girls. Yeah, it's like when when the art style changes, I'm just like side-eyeing that shit going like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> I but I like that song you ride that hog. It was a good song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my jam as a kid. Hell yeah. They, Hell they yeah. knew kids like because they kept playing it on TV. Like even when the show wasn't on, they were just like, let's play the to the right that hog. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, the I still think my one of my favorite episodes of Powerpuff Girls is just the cause like as a child I didn't understand this. The Boogeyman episode. I didn't realize that oh, that was yeah. Oh yeah, Boogie Black Nights. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the fact that they had that dude like borderline swear on the kids' cartoon is so funny. Yeah. Man. The fact but blame it on the boogie. It made the, us walk. the fact that they even used Boogie Nights as the title, despite it's Boogie so Nights funny. existing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Probably my favorite CN cartoon is Powerpuff Girls. Just, I like it. Oh yeah, it's definitely up there for me. I love Powerpuff Girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were definitely making that show for themselves. They didn't care about kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the kids were of, very much an afterthought. Yeah. But the amount of girls I know that resonated with Bubbles and Buttercup and no one wanted to be Blossom. <laughs> No one want to be the responsible one. Nah, mm-hmm. nah I, don't, I don't know math. I'm not Blossom. <laughs> Blossom, Blossom be having her moments though. That that like princess fight, pretty oh, good. Where, yeah. Yo, when when yeah. she hits that fucking like the the, the Goku trunks. dodge on yeah, that shit. The, <laughs> the, 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 yeah, the dodge, dodge, dodge his tilt yeah. head. That's that's too tough. <laughs> that's right. too tough. <laughs> It's right. like, all right, okay, I I know why you're the leader. Yeah, yeah. it's like, all right. I thought Buttercup had them hands, but I was wrong. Yeah, <laughs> that that whole fight is so goddamn tough. 
like that yeah that head tilt dodge is so sick man i yeah i i love that episode yeah, so she much like, she like lays in the princess too yeah. like, she gets whooped oh yeah oh, princess yeah. bitch made man if you think about, if you think about the pop got the pop of girls though it's crazy like how did they get us to watch a show with these little they're like not even a kindergarten they're in pre-k they just beat niggas like it's because yeah. it's just because like beating people to death in that shit <laughs> yeah that's it was so violent. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, you, got, you got people ripping off horns and stabbing them. Stabbing yeah, people. <laughs> like, yeah, people, like, people's, people's teeth are dangling out of their mouths. Nah, like, they, they ruined that mind's life, man. <laughs> yeah, that, and it wasn't even a mind fault. He got hit by a truck. He yeah, wasn't even evil. Yeah. I'll never forget, like, that one beatdown they gave Mojo, like, for no reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They just went to that man's house and beat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I, I fucking love that shit. Just Mojo going like, please. And like, yeah, it's just... like, and it, Buttercup like sticks her foot in his mouth. She's like, yeah. Yeah, it's like, like this, abs, this, this animal's just begging for mercy. And they're like, no, nah, let's beat his ass. Let's beat his ass. Like, you, you, want, you want more? You want more? No. no you want more? more. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't deserve any of that. He did, he did not. He that did was not. police brutality. You can't do that. Honestly, that boy, honestly, that was a trauma. <laughs> that was a traumatized chimpanzee just got the shit I'm pushed saying, in. Like, man. how did he not? How did he not quit? I would have quit. I would have never came back outside. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I think my like, I think my favorite episode, which I think is like a Robber and City episode of ppg is when like mojo's teaching that like english as a second class. language class yeah the ESL class yeah. <laughs> community service, yeah. so he's he getting like, like everyone just keeps on talking like mojo just going like i cannot <laughs> i cannot help you because i i am a, unable to help you within this situation because <laughs> <laughs> just a little like sick with the language I reiter- yeah i reiterate <laughs> Let me reiterate. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. That's so Mojo good. Be cool. Mojo be a cool dude to hang out with, though. Like, just a talking monkey that's smart. Yeah. I, I chill with Mojo. They, they chill sometimes. Like, when he's not, like, breaking stuff, he's like a chill hang. Honestly. Honestly. Mojo's that like, dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. But beyond... What? No, no. Go ahead, Zuki. I say, uh, I just thought about that Dexter Lord. You remember that Lord where it showed Dexter putting on his clothes and it showed this motherfucker putting on a lab coat and some boots? Yeah, like doesn't wear pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just it out here. <laughs> this dude Dexter just got his whole dick and balls. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, Dexter's just in the laboratory playing free ball in it. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, well, fucking D'Angelo, before we wrap up, man, anything you want to, anything you want to plug, anything you want to mention, homie? Uh, just uh, you can find me on YouTube, Hats Off Media. You can find me everywhere as Hats Off Media. Like you can check out my videos. You can check out my art. Subscribe to my uh, other Twitter for my show, Screen Time Show. Uh, that's coming soon. I'm still working on the short. Uh, should be out soon, ish. You know, animations art, and uh, you know, just find me there. Check me out there. Oh yeah, hell yeah! Thank you so much, Zucavelli. Yeah, Zuccavelli, no anything you gotta say, homie? Yeah, y'all can find me on Twitter at SGodZuki. As for myself, I'm on Twitter as SlugboyZNT. I stream weekly and I'm putting out mad content. I stay editing, so uh, yeah, thank you so much to anyone who's watching my shit. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for being a part of this, D'Angelo. This, this shit was dope, man. Yeah, it was. We mm. fucking knew. You got you got us <laughs> fucking splitting our sides on this shit, dog. <laughs> it was fun. To the audience, of course, thank you for tuning in and peace, peace, peace. We motherfucking out. Bye bye.